Hi, it's Jasmine. So school was canceled because of a big snowstorm the previous night, and I thought that this would be the perfect timing to film a little paint with me video. I'm from SoCal, and this is the first time I've seen school canceled because of snow, so this is very exciting. I was actually notified of this when I was on the bus coming from Providence back to New York. Because it was snowing so heavily, there were some problems with the bus and I was actually stuck on there for a full 8 hours. Instead of the regular 2.5 to 3 hours, I wasn't too amused but my mood was lifted up when I read that school was cancelled the following day. I'm using acrylic on canvas right now and actually acrylic is my least favorite medium but I'm using it to save time. I am using Utrecht and Blitz Studio Acrylics. I think the last time that I painted something of my own was with my boyfriend and I haven't been able to ever since because I've been stuck with homework and editing so it felt really nice to be able to paint something of my own again. I hope that you've noticed that my camera quality has gotten a lot better in the past two videos that I uploaded. This is because I was able to get some new camera equipment thanks to my mom. I really like to film and edit and I like how it keeps me really busy. I'm going to try to film more creative videos from now on. I want to be able to express my creativity not only through my art but also my videos. I will still be vlogging though and speaking of vlogs, I haven't been vlogging the past few days because all I've been doing is editing in class and sleep so that's not really interesting. I also have to fix my vlogging camera because the screen literally fell off so now I have to re-screw all the tiny screws back on. You may be wondering what I'm painting right now. I actually posted a progress picture of this on my Instagram story and asked you guys what you guys thought it was and I got a lot of interesting responses. Someone said that it looks like an explosion of happy thoughts. Another one said a really bloody buff guy. And another one said to them that it looks like an endless flow of life and death, each overlapping onto each other. This is super interesting to me because if you ask someone what your art looks like, they will automatically come up with the wildest things. And if you do tell them what it is, they would automatically be like, okay, it's that. So let me tell you what I am painting here. I am essentially painting the inside of a grapefruit combined with a flower. And it also looks like a vagina, which some of you thought it looked like. So you guys were correct. It's also interesting to me how we use fruits to symbolize male and female body parts. So yeah, I am currently painting a vagina flower fruit. I actually didn't have much thought behind painting this. I just wanted to paint something for fun in my free time. And I refused to bullshit some long description out of this. So my mom has actually started to watch my YouTube videos. I didn't let her before, but I can't really stop her now. And she watched my tattoo video and she was like, oh, they're pretty. But no more tattoos! She's also been sending me responses to them through text after each video she's watched. And I feel kind of bad because I feel like she's really lonely because it's just her and my dog at home. I feel really lucky to have her as a mom because she's not really conservative like other Asian parents. I literally tell her everything and she really doesn't mind. She does get a little bit over dramatic and she also tells me everything, even the stuff I don't want to know. I'm an only child so she's like my best friend and I'm her best friend. I don't know why I'm talking about her right now because now I'm just sad and I miss her. Okay, the point is if she sees me drawing a vagina fruit flower, she really won't bat an eye. She'll just be like, so spring break starts this weekend and I'm super excited because it basically means I get to sleep in, I get to do my own art, I get to figure out my own stuff, I get to film more videos and edit more videos, and also I'm visiting my boyfriend! I think I'm gonna go to the Metropolitan Museum on Saturday and I want to do some art there and also film a little video and just go look around. 
Haha, <laughs> so I completely forgot to talk about my painting, but basically I went from painting the background to color blocking and now I'm just putting in more and more details. I love incorporating shades of red and green into my art because I just love how those two complement each other. I was actually pretty damn frustrated when I filmed this video because the sun kept going away and coming back so I had to adjust the aperture like every single time. I actually have a really funny story for you guys. I was in Providence and I saw this candy store basically and they were offering free samples of gummy bears and it tasted so good so I dragged Justin inside to go buy some and there's a buy two get one free deal for jars so I filled all three of my beer looking jars up I gave one to Justin and I took two with me back to New York and <laughs> I left them on my windowsill and the sun is really bright in the morning so when I came back from class, my gummy bears were melted. They're still sitting on my fridge with melted gummy bears inside them. So Justin and I have almost dated for 21 months and we've been doing long distance for seven months. And I'll talk about this more in like a get ready with me video, but it has its pros and cons. Okay, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm sorry. I know that you guys wanted like a quiet painting with me video. But I hope that this is okay too. I will also be filming a dorm tour video soon. I might just do it this spring break. And for those that are wondering where my roommate is, she's usually stuck in the architecture building or she's at her boyfriend's apartment. I have tons of video ideas in my mind, but if you guys have any that you really want to see, please comment them down below. And for those that are wondering how I managed to buy Glossier Plays, whole new entire line um basically i gambled out my money i spent a whole month's worth of my youtube paycheck i'm hoping i am praying that this video does well and that i can resell all of the products on my depop so this piece is coming along really nicely and you can see that my nail polish has changed colors it changed from purple to a jade green this was filmed on two separate days. The purple was during the day that school was canceled and I thought I could finish it in one day, but I just, I just couldn't. This piece in total took about three and a half hours and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it. I might hang it on my wall. I might make prints, who knows. I'm really happy that I've been really productive the past few weeks. And I just feel so much better about myself. However, I did skip my global history class today. I just couldn't handle three hours of really boring history. However, this is the first time I've missed it this whole semester, so I feel like it's fine. I've been doing pattern design in my design class, so I want to get them printed out on fabric and I want to ship it back home. I got a new professor this semester for my design class and honestly I want my old one back and I hope none of my teachers know about my channel because I would literally die. Taking the time to paint this has been super fun, really relaxing and it just makes me feel so much more productive because I would normally be on my bed on my phone watching YouTube or doing something else. At this point in the painting I'm just adding some more details, I'm adding more highlights and some shadows to make the image pop out more. For highlights, I'm not just using a bright white, I'm mixing white with yellow and that actually makes it pop out more. I know that I could have done more to this painting, but honestly, I know that if I just stopped, I would never finish it again, so I just finished it here. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble on and on. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little paint with me video and see you guys in the next one. Bye!